I got a 3D printer for Christmas. The power of creation in the palm of my hand. Wahahaha. So what are you going to make? I could print anything. Anything. Wahahaha. Yeah, but like which anything are you going to do, you know, like first? Printer upgrade parts or another benchy or a uh, us nerds love getting gadgets, but sometimes we're not totally sure what to do with them. So before that new matter replicator becomes a clutter aggregator, check out these 10 free models that don't call for anything except filament and common household knickknacks, making them perfect for breaking in your brand new printer. I'm actually giving some of today's projects away to a lucky viewer. So ladies, gentlemen, and cyborgs, stick around here in Voidstar Lab. Number 10, Hand Crossbow by Arkudaki. This elastic blaster inspired the whole list because its cool stacked up construction doesn't need any nuts, bolts, or glue at all. If you've got some filaments, some rubber bands, and a clicky pen, you have all you need to go medieval on some derrieres. Cock the rubber band, drop in the ammo, also printed of course, and let it rip. It's even got a safety. This thing is nowhere near as powerful as a Nerf blaster, which you can totally print by the way. Check out that bubble over there for printing super powered blasters. But those need a parts kit from some schmo on Etsy and this just needs your junk drawer. The hand crossbow is a bit of a torture test for your printer. These sidewall plates love to curl up, the intricate cams inside demand precision, and this base piece up here is just pure heck. If you're the meticulous type, you can actually get the retaining pins to friction fit, so you don't even need any glue. I am not meticulous, so I did glue. Major warning, especially for the Utes, these hooks can snap off under spring tension and nail you right in the eye. Never, ever prime this blaster unless everyone in the vicinity engages their safety squints. Sweetie swooty, I disclaim liability. By the way, I found everything featured in this episode on today's sponsor, Things, the place to find and share anything three-dimensional. Things now hosts over 7 million models, and if they don't have what you want, they will search the competition for you. Use the links in the description to grab these models, support the channel, and now share pictures of your builds so the independent creators who designed them can see their hard work pay off. Pew pew! That brings us to number nine, wall mount key hanger by Electrosync. I nearly missed this one because of its generic ass title, and I'm really glad I didn't because this seatbelt shaped key organizer is a great help for the ADHD airhead I know you are. Stick the buckle to the wall, attach the latch plate keychain, that's what the thing is called, a latch plate, and when you come back from work, don't whip your keys into the couch void. Snap them into their new home. Hit the button and your keys don't just drop into your hand, a tiny spring-loaded tab ejects them. What's really awesome is that apart from the key ring itself and the tape to stick the buckly bit to your wall, this thing is 100% filament. Your printer game does need to be on fleek fellow kids because tolerances are tight in all directions, and the springs, which of course are also printed, will snap unless you use filament that is not prone to snapping. But the reward is a super slick way to avoid having to ransack the couch every morning, and you can make and use it right now, no glue required. Snapping your keys into their special spot after a hard work day and ejecting your favorite Enlightenment logo bottle opener is almost as satisfying as this peanut butter cup nitro stout. I'm a cocktail guy. Number eight, Steampunk Light Switch by 3D Printing World. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it's better if you hear this from me first. Now that you have a 3D printer, your friends, your family, your coworkers, all of them now believe you're a mad scientist. At first, the jokes will be amusing. Some Doc Brown there, some young Frankenstein here, but while the novelty will fade, the normies are infinite. This is your life now, and you would do best to embrace it. So fire up that printer, snap on your welding goggles, and swap your light switches for big honkin' steampunk levers. This clever print replaces the light switch cover, but works with the switch itself, turning it into the clunky over-engineered insanity that frankly everyone already assumes you have. There's a single and a double switch version, you need nothing except filament and glue, and you don't have to tinker with the high voltage stuff, so there's no point trying to escape your fate. For authenticity's sake, I printed mine in protopasta iron-filled PLA. A mixture of salt, vinegar, and peroxide rapidly rusts the tiny metal particles embedded in the filament. After all, have you ever seen a mad scientist polish their doomsday device? The handles are made of wood-filled PLA, which I stained to bring out the grain. If you're curious about these fancy pants filaments, I tested over 50 of them in this video linked right here. Is it? Oh, then I pointed to the wrong place. Now there is no doubt this room belongs to one who dares trespass in God's domain. Pull the lever, Brooke. 
No, the other lever! Number seven, lathe pencil sharpener by H4I2. I love tiny scale versions of real life stuff, especially when they have tiny scale functionality. I actually made an entire tiny battle station complete with tiny desktop PC so I could play tiny Doom. So you could imagine my delight when I happened upon this wee little machine shop mainstay. This thing is so f***ing cute. Ah! This Lilliputian lathe features an adjustable cross slide and detachable tail stock, but what's really neat is it actually turns tiny lumber. Glue a pencil sharpener in there and you have the littlest mini machine tool that sends the cutest swarf tumbling onto the shop floor. What a great word. Swarf, swarf, swarf. That's all I got. It's a pencil sharpener that looks like a lathe. Number six, print in place nunchucks by Aero Designs. One of the coolest design flourishes that 3D printing enables is the print in place mechanism. These are hinges, cogs, chains, etc., made of multiple moving parts, but you don't need to put them together. The entire thing prints pre assembled and works right off the plate. These full size nunchucks, or nunchaku if you're a weeaboo, have two different print in place elements the chain links print already linked, the ball joints are already in their sockets in the, the nunchuck sticks. This is a really tall model, so I'm going to print this thing in rainbow filament so I can... Oh, god damn it! As I was saying, printing this in rainbow filament brings out the dramatic spectrum of... Oh, you slurping snuggle f Learning experience. Tall, thin prints like this are really likely to fail. The taller the print, the greater the moment of inertia the nozzle imparts as it drags across the top. Uh, it's like a lever multiplying the torque. Really strong force plus really tiny bottom layer equals a spaghetti! I also made things worse by using silk filament, which looks like gorgeous shiny metal, but it puffs up like popcorn as it leaves the nozzle. Yeet! I am about to say two words that will make it unambiguously clear that our very species is beyond salvation. This is your last chance, because here it comes. Physical posts. Humanity has reached an era where we can and do devote petrochemicals and precious time manifesting zero effort maymays that get a momentary nose snort half laugh, then continue killing dolphins until the planet is a spherical ashtray. The dolphin hating 3D printing meme lords have converged on Dwayne the Rock Johnson for some reason, and I think you can smell what the printers are cooking. Heaven or hell, round five, let's rock! It all started here with the floppy print-in-place Roctopus. Now personally, I prefer Dr. Roctagonopus, BAH! Witness the Fast and Furious Transformers crossover of the century, Roctimus Prime. This is not the rock, this is a rock lobster! Hide your kids, hide your wife, because I'm about to whip out my red rocket. I'm gonna flip this pickle over and it's gonna be hilarious because it's Pickle Rock! Slavers sculpted in a conquered mountain? Hell no! Mount Roxmore is the real American legacy. Do you want to grow up big, strong, and also bald, then eat your broccoli. Finally, I know you've been thinking it, and it's real, it exists, I made it, I got it right here, it's the Rock Rock. Did I kill the joke? Because that would mean Rock is dead. Number four, a gun! People keep asking me to 3D print firearms, and I keep refusing because America's school system has plenty to share. But you know what? You people wore me down. You changed my mind, you destroyed me with facts and logic, and the time has finally come to 3D print some real steel. I loaded up some real steel-infused filament and ran off a 100% composite polymer Grok 17, that's right, this whole thing was a setup for another Dwayne The Rock Johnson joke. What can I say except you're welcome? Blah, blah, blah! Number three, pin screen toy by 3D Printy. Do you remember those science stores at the mall with the glow-in-the-dark stars and the make-your-own slime kits? You don't? Because you're not 45? Well, it sucks to be you because you'll never experience a Discovery Zone. One of my favorite science toys that they used to sell there was that one where you put your hand or something under this grid of steel pins and it makes like a cool metal relief. My parents were smart enough not to buy one for me, but my time has come because now I can print one. This right here is a true test of your printer and your printing skills, because almost every component is a different circle of printing heck. These standoffs are tall and thin, easily torn off or warped. The grid needs precise square cutouts, which is surprisingly tough without a really well-tuned printer. Finally, the pin itself has a tiny surface area, so it barely sticks to the bed, but it still has to come out precise enough to fall smoothly. Then you need 270 more of them. But I sallied forth and printed these sequentially with rainbow filament, very same technique I used for the parts rainbow, to make a glorious tie-dye gradient. The only other things you need are some really long M3 screws and some scrap plastic 
to keep the pins from falling out. You could scale the whole shebang for whatever screws you happen to have, and the plastic is optional as long as you never turn it upside down. So does it work? Like, kinda? Like, a quarter of the pins in my copy are jammed because I'm, I'm actually not very good at printing, and people think YouTube is a meritocracy. All of the shots where it's actually working are by the project's creator. 3D Printy has his own small YouTube channel where he designs a new, unbelievably polished 3D print like every week, and his videography is better than mine. Go to youtube.com slash 3D Printy and share that algorithmic juice. Number two, Snap Fit Scale Mail by Robotic Clay. This was one of the entries for my Hello Wearables contest, and it barely missed the cut, but it fits this theme so well I had to bring it back. This simple yet clever duet of scales and fasteners lets you up armor a boring black t-shirt into a scale mail boring black t-shirt. Believe it or not, this needs nothing but filament, a shirt, something pointy, and a nice long queue of Void Star Lab videos. Punch holes in the shirt, push a fastener through, snap on a scale, lather, rinse, repeat, until you've made yourself a surprisingly convincing Ren Faire fashion statement. Print a set for your squire so you don't find yourself unattended. I'll be here all night. <laughs> Let's be honest, a lot of 3D printable items are just simplified knockoffs of mass-produced products and most of the time you're better off just buying the real deal. But our last model of the day blows this apart. You can't buy anything like it and I don't even think it is mass-producible. This is a testament to the possibilities of printing. It's genuinely useful, it's easy to print, and it's just friggin' cool. Behold number one, rolling storage box by 3D Printy. Yeah, that's right, same guy as the pin screen. His projects are great and he let me use his B-roll. This octagonal caddy is actually eight slender parts trays wrapped around a central core. The magnetic clasp holds them tight and when you open it, the rolling motion and the inward sloping sides keep your tiny parts from spilling out. The core itself is even a screw top canister perfect for holding bulk items, tools, or scraps. The best part, you got options. There are five sizes of rolly boys from the short model for resistors and stuff to the colossal giant model that could easily hold four or five iPhones in every single bin. You can mix and match those bins too. The regular style is easy to reach into and there are three different divider options to straighten out small parts. Grab a sliding bin or a drawer bin and just pull out the whole shebang. The magnetic latch is pretty secure, but if you're really worried about spillage, supplement those magnets with a wraparound strap. Apart from the magnets or Velcro, this is 100% filament. Even the hinge pins are bits of filament straight off the spool. How cool is that? I don't care about your opinion. You now have at least 10 doohickeys that I'm pretty sure you can run off right this very second. And you can download each and every one of them from today's sponsor things using the links in the shmageggy. Remember to share a pick and enter the contest to win your very own Voidstar Lab box of rocks. Things also sponsors many of our weekly streams, most Mondays and Fridays at twitch.tv slash Zachfriedman, where we do not play games. We build projects because we are intellectuals. YouTube actually shows my videos to my subscribers, so if you want more, you should know that the red button actually works. Click it! Finally, I'd like to thank our Patreon supporters. The peanut butter to my jelly, the jelly to my peanut butter, the very bread that makes the peanut butter and jelly into a peanut butter and jelly sandwich instead of some peanut butter smeared on a plate with some, some jelly smeared on top of it. This metaphor really got away from me. If you would like to support future projects, head on over to patreon.com slash Friedman. Every tier gets access to our secret lab channel of our 10,387 member Discord, which I drop into nearly every day. Special thanks to our top class collaborators, Command, Vinayaka Patrick Thompson, Jeremy Arnold Sweaty Vag, Brian D. Swollen Nut, Chuck Faduk Small Dong, and Reagan says Pop Tart's microwave instructions are microwave on high setting for three seconds. I've hidden their name somewhere in this episode. Can you find them? Our lab assistant supporters include BLM and Friends, My Dog is a Bear, Bill Schooler, Trans Rights, Bob Dobbington, Burbasaur did nothing wrong yet, a blade of kit and duck distribution specialist and a choir of stickers, Cats the Cuttlefish, Walking Robot Lab Durin and Turpin, SXP Aerator, Give It Up for Chronome and the Vowels, Captain Black Scroat the Merciless, Yar, Buffalo 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 Buffalo, Kevin DeGraff, Michael Roche, Period Klutz, the Antifa, 
Eddie Zanforian, Nathan Johnson, Brad Cox, one handful of beans, protagonist, Epon Man, Talon Democratic Socialist, and a pretty righteous dude, Granville Schmidt, a Zundo wielder of iron, hater of shrink, Nino Gansitano, Victor Vaughn, the Midnight Patron, what patrons at midnight, powerful CCH, Rolando Alvarez, Varka, Rusty Flute, Caster the Catboy, William Tresher, Lydia Cave, my Yiddish Mama, Ashley Coleman, the world's greatest drone pilot, Bachrinder FPV, Zorch, TKMK, on all levels except Physical, I am a lioness. Taranak, Clunge Bob Squirt Pants, DSA, Roger Pinkham of the Great Star Theater, Flat 32, Curb Akali, always remember, but I forgot what. Philip Zosters, 2021, and I still go to My Little Pony conventions. Boulder Creek Yard, James, good suck. Burren Duck 3, Ethan Gomes, C. Harris, and the cunning, valiant, and most chivalrous patron in all of the realm, Sir Derpington of Derptopia. May your 3D printer be your gateway to cool projects instead of an expensive thing to stub your toe on. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the future.